All right, um, so the protests have obviously gotten out of hand because I just see pictures and videos of Kano State, how people don't go, they loot government house and they don't they carry things. You understand? See different pictures. Now, my own fear, now we see down the ground for Abuja, the place when police don't go block, nya nya, the people they don't break through. You understand? Now they are coming towards town and this is a very big problem. Myself don't even the fear. Do you understand? They bought me for Abuja, so make I make a quick analysis. You see all this multitude of crowd now. Immediately after they pass this place, the next place that we meet is AYA. If they just they reach AYA like this, if they follow like this, then they go the right wing of Asokuru, where there are a lot of elites. If they go like this, then they go the left wing of Asokuru, where there are a lot of elites. And if they turn like this, they'll meet Echoas, they'll meet filling station, they'll meet banks. A lot of banks are on that street. Then a lot of elites live there. Then if they enter Echoas, I pray they don't do anything there. They will come go inside, go enter Guzapi. Do you understand? Now, if they decide not to do this, they go straight on top of that bridge. They go to another wing of Asokoro, that Magretasha area. Now, if they now turn left, they go front of first headquarters, then boom, they don't reach central area. They don't reach a central area where there are like secretariats and everywhere. They don't reach secretariats area, Ministry of Finance and everywhere. Do you understand? If they now decide to bend like this, they don't go Gariki axis where there are a lot of businesses and it's going to be a problem, rich medics and the rest. Do you understand? And this is a problem. Now, this is another video of another squad again. This one is there for Jabi Airport Junction. That's another area again. Do you understand? All men, see another one. All men now they come central area. Please, President Ashwa Jibola, I to do my own advice because me, I'm also scared. I am scared. This thing only come up from hand. My own advice to you is Declare a state of emergency, put an immediate instant coffee, you may everybody go to their house. Immediately they reach their house, then you now talk to your service chiefs, Mona deliberate. If not the fuel price will not reduce, Mona just reduce the fuel price. Go maybe like 150. That one will calm them down. If first day is like this, imagine the second day of the protest. This is just my advice. You understand? Imagine the second day of the protest. If first day is like this. And to the youth, please. let you not get out of control now to the uh, 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 presidency um the i don't know who they in charge i don't know if you people paid the people all the people that have been doing the counter narrative and the counter protest i don't know if people will pay them but that wasn't a smart move you know why it wasn't a smart move listen the people where the rural area where did they suffer they don't do social media where they watch all those. Nobody should come and protest to go, 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 go. All those press interviews. They don't have TVs in their house. They don't have TVs. A lot of them live from mouth to mouth. And because of how expensive things are, they cannot even carry their hand to their mouth again. That is the problem we are facing. So all those counter narrative, carry placard, carry go to Eagle Square, all those women saying they don't want protest and all that. The people where they're in the rural area, they know they hear English. They don't get TV. It just take one person to go lie to them. They go come streets. Do you understand? See them. They don't fool everywhere. Most of them, they are ready for anything that will happen. So, President Ashwajibola Metinubu, as from somebody that is really...